Here's another one staring at him, the West Asia quagmire. Just like his predecessors, the more Biden tries to stay away from West Asia, the deeper he got pushed back in. The latest crisis is Iraq, where at least 10 rockets have hit a military base that hosts American soldiers. This is the second rocket strike in a month, and it comes just before the visit of Pope Francis to Iraq. What challenges will this attack throw up for Joe Biden? Will it make the precarious peace in the region more fragile? Our next report explores. This is the aftermath of yet another deadly strike in West Asia. At least 10 rockets targeted the Ain al-Assad airbase. This is an Iraqi airbase that hosts US-led coalition troops. The attack comes just days before Pope Francis is due to visit Iraq. The security threats are clear, but so far the Pope's visit is on track. The Iraqi people wait for us. They waited for Saint Pope John Paul II. His visit was not allowed to take place. The people cannot be let down for a second time. Pray for this trip that it may happen in the best way possible. What's falling off track is Joe Biden's policy for the region, whatever it is. The missile strike creates bigger problems for the US. This attack comes after the US struck Iranian militia targets along the Syria-Iraq border. It was the first military action by President Biden, one that had stoked fears of a series of tit-for-tat attacks. While Iran isn't being blamed for this rocket strike, Tehran has become a reason of worry for the Biden administration. It has refused to negotiate and save the 2015 nuclear deal. It wants the US to lift sanctions first. The path is a clear one. If the United States wants to have a place at the JCPOA table, it must first announce its commitment and return to Resolution 2231 and also lift sanctions effectively. There is no need for negotiations and bargaining for this path. As a candidate, Joe Biden promised a swift return to the Iran nuclear deal. Now, after more than a month in office, he is nowhere close to securing it. Last month, Iranian-backed Shiite militias fired rockets at a U.S. airbase in northern Iraq, a strike that killed one contractor and injured American soldiers. On the 18th of February, Team Biden accepted an informal offer for talks, brokered by the European Union. On Monday, the spokesperson for Iran's foreign ministry shot off this rejection. He said time isn't ripe for the proposed informal meeting. With Israel accusing Iran of attacking one of its ships and the latest missile attack in Iraq, Joe Biden will have to move fast if he wants to get a deal with Iran. The rising tensions in West Asia only means the window of opportunity is shrinking for Washington. Bureau Report, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.